Oh my goodness, it is finally summer in the Northern Hemisphere. That means we get to say bye to our coats, scarves, boots and hats, and finally enjoy that beautiful sunshine and enjoy being outdoors a little more. But let's explore a few facts about the wonderful star in our solar system. Firstly, the sun is pretty old. It's about 4.5 billion years old at this point, which we estimate to be about halfway through its lifespan. The type of star that our sun is is also a yellow dwarf star, which um, is an interesting name because it's definitely quite large compared to us here on Earth. In fact, it's about 100 times wider than the Earth and about 10 times wider than Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. It is also the only star in our solar system, and as the center, it controls the center of gravity. As such, everything revolves around it, including planets, asteroids, comets, and even teeny tiny bits of space debris. Trying to measure a day on the sun is pretty complicated because of the way it rotates. It doesn't spin as a singular solid ball. And that's because the sun's surface is not solid like the Earth's. Instead, the sun is made of super hot, electrically charged gas called plasma. This plasma rotates at different speeds at different parts of the sun. At its equator, a sun will complete one rotation in 25 Earth days. Whereas at the poles, the sun will rotate once on its axis every 36 Earth days. Above the sun's surface are its thin chromosphere and the huge corona, otherwise known as a crown. This is where we see features such as solar prominences, flares, and coronal mass ejections. The latter two of these are giant explosions of energy and particles that can reach Earth. Our sun does not have any moons, but it is orbited by eight planets, at least five dwarf planets, tens of thousands of asteroids, and perhaps three trillion comets and icy bodies. We currently have several spacecraft that are currently investigating the sun, which include Parker Solar Probe, Stereo, Solar Orbiter, SOHO, Solar Dynamics Observatory, High Node, Iris, and Wind. The Sun would have been surrounded by a disk of gas and dust early in its history, when the solar system was first forming 4.6 billion years ago. Some of that dust is actually still around today, in several dust rings that circle the Sun. They trace the orbits of the planets whose gravity tugs dust into place around the Sun. Now, the sun is pretty hot. The temperature at its core can reach around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 15 million degrees Celsius. Hot enough to sustain nuclear fusion. This creates outward pressure that supports the star's gigantic mass and keeps it from collapsing in on itself. Also, with it being that hot, we definitely couldn't support any life on the sun, but its energy is vital for most of us here on Earth. Enjoy the summertime!